welcome to the computer. We are now going to go over how to scan for stocks effectively to day trade on the Webull desktop software. Now there is multiple ways about doing this, but I'm gonna show you an effective way that I use to trade here every day on the Webull desktop software. The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is set up our charts correctly. Now to do this, what you wanna do is log into Webull and click right here, the stocks tab. Once that loads, you could see potentially a page that looks like this. If your page looks a little bit different, don't worry, we're going to adjust it now. If you scroll to the top right of your page and you hit this square icon known as the grid tab, click that and you'll see nine boxes up here. Highlight four of those boxes and then click like so. That is gonna load up four separate charts. The next step in this process is to hit the grid tab once again and ensure that symbol and indicators are checked. This will allow you to have the same indicators on all the charts and the same ticker symbol will be pulled up as well on all the charts. The reason why I'm doing four of the same charts is because I like to use multiple different time frames when I'm trading stocks. It gives me a good sense of direction as to where the market might be taking it. So when I'm day trading, I like to look at the one minute chart, the five minute chart, the 15 minute chart, and then I like to switch from the 30 to around the daily. I'm gonna use the daily for right now. And as you can see now, we have the SPY chart on multiple different time frames. And also, as you can see, that I have a bunch of different indicators on my screen. I have volume, the MACD, I have moving averages, and the VWAP. If you are unfamiliar how to set these up, there's going to be a link in the description below, and I'll put it right here on how I set up all my indicators. And in that video, I walk you through my complete Webull desktop trading setup. So everything that I do to trade, I show you exactly what my screen looks like while I trade. Now, another thing that you can do when we have all these four charts up is you can hit this detach window. If you have multiple monitors, you can click this button and it'll allow you to detach this screen like so, and you can drag it to another screen. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and exit that because I do not need a detached window. I'm only working from one computer screen. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I scan for stocks? That's why I'm watching this video. Very simple. Now let's go ahead and click over to the markets tab. All right, we are here at the markets tab. You might be wondering why I didn't go to the screener tab, which is this right here. Well, we will make another video on how to screen for specific stocks, but for day trading purposes, I like to look at high volume and active stocks to be able to move my money in and out effectively and also find good setups. So we're gonna go back to the markets tab. And as you can see, to walk you through it, we have a couple different things going on on the screen that could look very complicated to many people. So I'm gonna walk you through it. We have up here, we have four different tabs. We have United States, Hong Kong, Global, and Cryptos. This is just showing those specific markets. So we're on the United States tab right now, and it's gonna show us the index, the net inflow, the advancers and decliners. And then it's gonna have, you know, hot industries right here where it shows phone and handheld devices, department stores, and this is updated actively throughout the day. We have rankings, trends, hot ETFs. We have news down here. Notice how NVIDIA just came out a minute ago with some new news. If you click this, it'll link you to that news article. Over here, we have corporate actions and that's allow you to see upcoming IPOs. You can click on earnings to see who's displaying earnings that day. You could have dividends as well. This is just a very awesome, unique, powerful tool and it's all free in the Webull desktop software. If you scroll down more, what I like to see is this marginable where you can go long or short. It's showing you some stocks that you can short because not all stocks on Webull you are able to short. It's only for what's available. If you have any questions about this markets tab, feel free to always just ask them in the comments section below. But let's get back to how we scan for stocks to day trade. As you know, we already set up how I want my charts to be. But now what I want you to pay close attention to is this middle box right here known as trend. Trends. We have trends, five minute ranking, highlighted, and we also have extended hours over here. The one I want to focus on for this video is five minute rankings. Now, why is this important? This is showing us a five minute percent change 
in the current price of whatever stock is highlighted. So if I scroll through this, you can see a list of different stocks that are changing very actively within the five minute time frame. Now this is important because if we're looking at a five minute percent change and we're seeing a big percentage point move relative to the percent change for the day, this could mean that there's a lot of volume coming into the stock. And whoa, look at that. Ticker symbol JMIA has really been on a tear. Up 17% for the day and in the last five minutes it went up 4%. Let's go ahead and look at that. Wow, I'm liking this one. As you can see on the one minute time frame, we just had a big shot up in volume, which is creating a bull pull. So typically what you can see in these type of patterns is you can see it potentially consolidate and then break above a level of resistance. I'm gonna go ahead and actually draw in a horizontal line at $15 because notice that big round number there, it struggled to get above. So potentially if we get some consolidation, we might see a break above 15 that can take this stock even higher. On the daily time frame. Whoa, look at that thing go. It is clearly in bullish context. On the five minute time frame, also in bullish context. And it's kind of pulling back right now to a level of support right here at about 1468. Then on the 15 minute time frame, it also here is in nice bullish context moving up, but it looks like that $15 level is getting a little toppy. So how would I play this? Well, let's go ahead and hop into my trading tab. I'm gonna do paper trading right now. I don't wanna do a live trade while I'm filming a video. All right, so I am here at ticker symbol JMIA, paper trading, and I have the SPY chart down here. As you can see, I always keep an eye on the SPY while I'm trading. Now, if I look at the SPY, it looks like, hey, if we get a break above this 323.73, that very well might take this stock even higher. So as you can see, we're having the pretty significant pullback in ticker symbol JMIA. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait here just a little bit. Let's see if the price can break above $15. Now, because I'm paper trading, let's pretend if it does break above $15, I'm gonna go ahead and enter into that position for a move to the upside. To clear up the screen, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the moving averages just to see the screen a little bit clearer. All right, let's see what happens. All right, as you can see, we saw the breakout here and the continuation to the upside. Now we are on the one minute time frame, and this is right here a good example of how to effectively use that screener on the markets tab. Now me personally, if I was trading the one minute time frame with real money, I would have definitely taken some profits on this 17 cent move. So it broke from 15 to $15 and 17 cents. And as a trader, an intraday trader, we scalp profits very quickly. So that move right there would have resulted in some profits. And just to give you a little bit more of tips of how I would potentially trade this, is that right there is a nice reversal type looking candle, which is kind of scary to me. So I would have taken some profits and then a close below this candle, 1492, would definitely take out for a stop loss because this reversal candle on an upwards move means that we might see some potential of a pullback. It is in bullish context and we might see a continuation to the upside, but at this particular point in time, we don't have that answer. So I'll leave this on just for a little bit longer to see how high this can potentially go, but just know that I would have definitely mitigated some profits right here at this particular point in time. Now that doesn't mean, like I said, necessarily I'd get out of the position completely, but I definitely would have taken some profits. What I like about this breakout that just took place here is it happened to be on large volume. So that large volume does make sense to me that this is not just a false breakout, that this could potentially be a real breakout. And as you can see the price is still running and jumping and this is all recorded live as of right now the date is july 31st and the time is 8 41 pacific standard time so if you want to go back and look at this on the one minute time frame please do so now we're up over 38 cents on this move wow yes this is something that i would have definitely already probably mitigated most of my position on at this point for example if i traded 300 shares of this i would have definitely sold about 100 shares up at this point and then if it broke down through this candle this 14 
uh, the low of 1492, I would have gotten stopped out. But now on this huge run up right here, I probably would have sold another 100. And now I'm going to let the remaining 100 work for me. But how do I manage my stop loss moving forward on this trade? I just move my stop loss now up to the low of each candle. So now my stop loss would be where my entry point is. So then at this point, it's not a question of will I make money? It's a question of how much money will I make on this trade. So let's go ahead and continue this monster run up here on ticker symbol JMIA. Right now it's creating another bull flag so we might see another pop up to the upside. Look at that thing go, absolutely stunning. So now my stop loss would be right here at about 1517. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a white line here just so you can follow along. Now my stop loss is gonna move just a little bit higher to 1527. Why is because that's the low of this candle. Every time a new candle forms, I move my stop loss up or I get stopped out. This is how you maximize profits. Now we're getting a real big run up here, so I don't wanna see the price drop all the way down. So I'm actually gonna move my stop loss up to 1541 now. Why am I doing that? It's because now I really wanna make sure that I keep in these profits. And there you go. I just got stopped out of this position ticker symbol JMIA. And as you can see right here, this was a pretty big inverted hammer candle and we had a nice pullback. Looks like it's going to be heading lower. Just to recap what we did, I showed you exactly how to set up those four charts on the stocks tab. Then I showed you how to look for specific stocks that are hot and active to trade here on Webull desktop software. After that, we then brought you into this ticker symbol to my live trading screen, paper trading screen, to show you in action how this actually looks. And as you can see, the process of which of moving up my stop loss, we got that pullback. So this is why it's very important to always monitor your risk and mitigate while the price is moving higher. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. See you later.